Hi, I'm Renee and I'm a line chef at Crave Restaurant and this is Simply Local. Simply Local is about taking our favorite Trimbegonian dishes and turning them into something fantastic. Here I take simple ingredients and prepare them by giving them a local twist. Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Local. So today we're going to do a staple, and not just any staple of Trinidad, a staple for Sunday lunch guys. It's macaroni pie. I know this dish is really simple and it's really easy for beginners. Um, what I love about it, I love cheese, so I'm really happy that I get to use cheese in this recipe. And the simple ingredients, like I said, you know, you can make it all strictly vegetarian, you can have no eggs. This recipe I'm going to use eggs, but you can have it with no eggs, or some people like to use a lot of vegetables in their macaroni pie. Now for me, a carrot is just fine. So I'm gonna show you how to make the macaroni pie. So let's begin. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna have our water on high heat at a rolling boil, and we're gonna put our macaroni in. Now we're using from our brand Cuisine, I was in their macaroni, and I was actually looking at the brand, and I noticed that at the back of it, they have a lovely recipe for chicken macaroni pie. Now, I never put chicken in my macaroni pie, so I think that's really interesting. So you should have a look, and maybe if you try it, let me know. Right, so we're just gonna put the macaroni in the pot, now, as a child growing up, my mom should always just let the kids um, break the macaroni and put it into the pot. And she would like us to break it in three. I know some people like to leave it in long or some people like to break it up even smaller, but I just like to break it in three. Right, so you're just gonna go over the flame and you're just gonna break it into three. And up to this date, she still lets my little brother, JJ, crack the macaroni. <laughs> right, so we're just gonna put oil. So we're using a whole pack of the cuisine macaroni. Right, so we have all, all the macaroni in here, and I'm just gonna put a few teaspoons of salt right here, just about two, and I'm just gonna give it a quick little stir. And we're just gonna cover it until it's nice and tender, just about 10 to 12 minutes. So it has been 10 minutes and if you just check, you can just pick up one of the macaronis and test it with your hand and see if it's nice and tender. So we're just going to take it off the flame now and we're going to strain it. So once it's strained, we're actually going to put it into the bowl and we have to move quickly. So the heat is what we really need because it's so hot, it's actually going to break down all the ingredients like the cheese and the butter. So you're going to put your butter, you put in your cheese. I have salt, black pepper. We're gonna add two eggs. Now, like I said before, you, it's okay to actually omit the eggs. That's fine as well if you're looking for a strict vegetarian meal. And lastly, we're gonna add our cuisine full cream milk. Okay, that's good enough. Just about three quarter cup is fine. And you're gonna give that a nice mix. Make sure that the butter and all the cheese is fully melted. And lastly, what I like doing, I like to add some carrots. Now this has not always been like a favorite of mine. It's something that I recently started to do. And I think it adds like a really nice, uh, not alone texture, but taste to the dish as well. Right, so you're just gonna fold in that carrot. And lastly, we're gonna add some paprika. It's gonna give you that little oomph or smoky flavor like you like to see. And uh, we're just gonna mix that really nice and add it to our dish. Now I have a greased 8x8 eight eight, uh, baking dish here, but you're welcome to put it in any baking dish that you have. So I'm just gonna take some cheese now and sprinkle it at the top. Now like I said, I really love cheese, so I'm gonna put a lot to the top here. My Auntie Sandra pies usually turn out really lovely and I don't know what is her trick and she doesn't want to tell me. And I think it's the paprika to the top, so we're going to try it to the Auntie, right? And I'm just going to chop some parsley and sprinkle it to the top as well. And into the oven we go for 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on the top for 355 degrees. OK, 
Okay guys, so it's out of the oven and I must admit, this looks amazing. It looks really lovely. And all the little paprika and parsley that we put at the top looks amazing. So here we have it guys, our macaroni pie. As you can see, it's lovely and golden brown at the top. And it has all these lovely layers of like all the cheese and all the butter and even the carrot that you're seeing in between. So I'm gonna try it now. Guys, I really love what the carrot does to this dish. Gives it a nice little texture. Now, I know some people like to add corn. Some people even like to add tomato paste, right? Um, you can make it your own. Like I said, it's really versatile, and I love the dish for that. It's simple, but versatile. So my favorite thing to eat macaroni pie with is actually callaloo and some nice sweet chicken. I love that. Also, let me know down in the comments what do you like to eat your macaroni pie with. As always, the full recipe is on eataFoodTT.com. You can follow us on Instagram or Facebook at eataFoodTT. Let me know down in the comments what did you add to your macaroni pie, if you added more vegetables, if you added the eggs or if you left out the eggs, let me know. Until next time guys, bye! <music>